With the release of Hunter's Guild in the newest Varlamor expansion came multiple ways to earn new and juicy loot, especially through this item. It's called the Loot Sack and the highest master tier requires 91 Hunter to obtain. So I asked a very simple question, how good or bad are master sacks from Hunter Rumors? And to answer that question, I decided to collect exactly 100 master loot sacks just to figure out what kind of experience this give, how much money I can make and how time consuming this is. So you can decide if you want to do this content yourself and here are my results. Let's start the video. Okay, before we do anything else with the Master Guild, there are these two new items that came into the game that will help me out a lot. The first one is the meat pouch, which will store up to 28 meats in the pack and requires 65 crafting to make. And the second one is this fur pouch, which stores 28 furs in your pouch, at least the highest tier. There are a total of three of them, a small, medium and big boy. I am going to be carrying both of these around me wherever I go during my tasks as it saves me a lot of time on banking. Okay, a Master Tier rumor number one one completed. If you didn't know, there are a total of 10 tasks you can obtain at the master tier, which is a 91 hunter requirement. And the master tier also has the best chance to obtain the pet, which I hope I can get by the end of the day. And this should be task number 10 completed, which means I just unlocked a new item and it's the Ketazel Whistle. And that item is an absolute lifesaver. So you go upstairs this rope, then you talk to this guy and he's gonna give you the basic blueprint. And I think you need a willow log and a knife to make the whistle. So I craft the whistle and there we go. It tells you which rumor you have and it has a teleport option as well, but... But, 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 I don't want to be basic in RuneScape, I want to be enhanced. So there is another scroll that upgrades it, and now, instead of it holding 5 teleport charges, it has, I think, 20 in total, which is more than enough for me. And if you come back to this guy and right-click him, you can give him some meats, and in return, he will give you charges to your whistle. You know what, since I'm already upgrading my teleports, why not build these landing sites as well? That's gonna allow me to jump around in Varlamor real fast. The first one is at the front entrance of Perilius Moons, and by the way, the Quetzal feed required to do this just cost me like 5 million GP, but I do think the feed is gonna go down very fast soon enough. And the other spot here is the Outer Fortis, because it allows me quick access to the Sunlight Antelopes, which are right over there, and that is one of the master tasks and also very annoying to get to, so this is gonna save me a lot of time. This has got to be the worst task of all time. What the heck is this? First of all, you have about 500 to 1000 players on evenings all fighting over these four spots over here. Yes, there is only four spawns for the Pyre Fox, and there are like thousands of players trying to get their spots. The other thing is you can only do one trap at a time. So even if let's say this world was completely free, I can't use the other three traps. This is like peak 2006 old school RuneScape design. Let's make things annoying just because. But I did hear that a lot of players are skipping this Firefox task. So I'm gonna finish this one up, but yeah, don't do this, okay? It's not worth it. On the other side though, this probably is my favorite task right now, and this is also the task that requires 91 Hunter to complete. It's the Moonlight Antelopes. Every time you catch one of these, you get like 20k loot, which is super, super good. The only problem, again, is that there is only four spawns here in one world, which means technically only one player can do this per world. Luckily, it does have such a high requirement that not a lot of people come here yet, so I can milk these antelopes for a little while. The GE prices don't show correctly, but the antlers are like 15k each right now, and the meat is like 3k each, and the fur is like 1k each. So it's approximately like 20k per KC, and if you do it off task, I think you can easily make like 5 million GP here. Does this count as hunting? <laughs> I mean, it's technically impling hunts, right? Oh, oh, what? Oh my god, I just got the Elven Signet by accident. Am I tra <laughs> Oh, am I dreaming? Oh my god. I just made 4 million GP by accidentally banking. No way, man. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy I chose this bank over here because I moved my BOH to Brief temporarily. What are the odds of that happening? I, you just snipe 4 million GP, just like that. I'm not gonna count that signet into the final price, but if that isn't the reason to subscribe to this channel, I don't know what is. I can also bring you the same good luck. Pinky promise, okay?
And there should be the first hunter level of the video. 92 hunter, which means I'm now gained about 550,000 hunter experience. And we're like halfway done with the 100 loot sacks. So I'm expecting somewhere between 1.1, 1.2 million experience from this grind. And since we are at 50kc with the hunter rumors, that means I also get one last unlock, which is being able to cook these two meats that are supposed to be best in slot heals. Cooking them is like cooking any other food, but when you heal, they have a special effect. So let me show you how they work. Firstly, I lower my hit points and if I eat this antelope, I get 14 hit points back immediately and 12 hit points back after like 2 or 3 seconds, giving me a total of 26 hit points. And both of them work in a similar way. The idea is to expand foods in a way where the instant eating foods are still good in short term, but you get more value out of these meats in the long run. And since you do need 50 hunter rumors to cook these meats, I think they're gonna hold their value quite well. Oh, and the other thing I want to show you is this. If you're looking to make some quick money while it lasts, there are these two items, the sunlight antelope meat and the sunlight moth. If you combine them together, you get this mix, which is supposed to be kind of like a two dose potion. Now the potion itself is kind of okay. It heals like 16 hit points, but if I sell it right now, I should get around 3k GP back. And look at that. I bought the ingredients for 950 GP and I sold the same potion for 3k. Again, I think this is like 5 million GP an hour moneymaker depending on how many supplies you can buy yourself but I highly recommend drying it out while it lasts oh and the final item I want to show is this calcified mod which currently goes for about 25k each on GE but the price is likely gonna drop and if you use the crush option it takes you to the brilliant moon city underground it's like the fastest way to enter the minigame which is kind of nice Whoa, 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 okay, okay. I mean, that was literally 1k C. I love this man. It happened to me one more time before where you just show up, you do a hunter for 20 seconds and task completed, but I didn't record it that time. It's very interesting on two spectrums. I did the Firefox task for 90 minutes and I, and I did this task for 20 seconds. It's kind of funny. Oh, oh my god, again, one case, what? In no way, how lucky am I with this, man? I just keep getting it. That is a grown salamander, and I want to go sell it right away. I heard it's supposed to be like 3 million GP right now. Insta sold. Oh, almost 1.3 million GP. I mean, it's not like I can complain about this. I made 1.3 million GP in what? Again, 20 seconds. So you know what? I'll take it. And this should be 93 Hunter, which is the final level of this episode from level 91 to 93. And we're getting close to completing 100 KC as well. It seems like I'm really gonna land around 1.2 million Hunter experience or 100 KC on this, which is kind of nice. Oh, again, again, it happened again. What? Again, one KC task completed. Hey, yo, did they change something? Or why is this happening? It's been like three or four times now. Either I am like super, super lucky or this is bugged. Okay, I'm gonna test this out now because I think it might be bugged, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'm just a really good player. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Can I snipe one KC task again? Oh, <laughs> no way. Okay, okay, okay. Relax, relax. Okay, relax, relax. It has to be bugged, right? There is no way. I, I constantly get 1kc completions. Oh my god, this is perfect, man. I mean, I can't complain. That means I can push the video out much faster, which, you know, I'll take that. I know for a fact that JX did some hot fixes to Hunter tasks just a few hours ago, and there is a small, teeny, tiny chance that they tweaked the numbers too high. So I want to test it out one more time. Let's see again. I want to see if this works more or not. It does, it does. Okay, 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 okay. This is bugged. I mean, it has to be, right? I got back to back to back to back 4x 1kc task completions. I just completed four rumors in like five minutes. You know what? If this is the case, I know I already got 100kc from this, but I think I'm gonna keep going. If it's that simple, why not continue? And update time. It did not work for the fifth time in a row, so I might have just been a little bit lucky there getting 4kc in 5 minutes. But that being said, this is the final task of the video and it's almost time to open up 100 master tier loot sacks and hopefully become very rich tonight. 
There it is, it is done, it's completed. Total time, about 20 hours, give or take, to complete 100 tasks. I think I could have done it in like 15 hours if I was faster with my teleports and manipulating the hunter cycles. But okay, let's open up the loot. And here we go. What better place to open up the loot than next to the capybaras in the guild? It's so peaceful here. So what am I looking for here? Firstly, I would like to get the hunter skill outfits. I would also like to get the hunter kit, which allows me to store all the hunter tools inside. And finally, the bed would be really cool to see as well. Oh, and, and this, and this, this one. Okay, I completely forgot about this item. This is the money maker. It's the final upgrade to your Ketesal Whistle, which holds 50 charges in total. And I think it goes for pretty good money right now. So let me go sell it right away. Uh, what do we get? 1.6 million GPA. Hey, we will take that. That is some juicy loot to see. Sorry, I just wanted to know how much it goes for myself. Now back to opening items. Hey, there it is, the Huntsman Kit, which I talked about before, it stores all the tools for you. Ooh, again, another blueprint. I, I won't go sell it this time, let's just keep opening this up, otherwise this video is gonna be like 40 minutes long. Wow, still no hunter pieces. What is going on? I'm getting scared a little bit. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. The guild hunter's headwear. That's the one. Can we get one more, please? This is kind of sad. Five, four, three, two... One, and the final one gives us the top as well. <laughs> oh my god. Those look kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie. There we go. Wait, what does, how, oh wait, 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 how does this, um, oh, it's a headband. It's a hunter's headband. Okay, that was a little bit confusing, but there we go. We got the top as well, and that's the loot from 100 loot sacks. Now, let me go sell all of this to give you the actual price, because it shows 6 million GP, but I think it's a lot more than that. I'm estimating like... 25 million GP? Maybe even more than that. Okay, time to sell everything. Cue the montage. And there it is, the final price of everything that I obtained while during the tasks and from the loot sacks. It's all been sold and the final price comes down to 19 million GP. Plus also the Elven Signet that I'm not gonna count in despite it also being related to Hunter. But yeah, that's another 4 million GP. And I think I'm gonna continue doing the tasks until I at least get the full Hunter set because it actually looks kinda cool. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention, which is really important. This Hunter task also gave me approximately 100,000 prayer experience for free. So if that's something you look forward as an Iron Man, this could be a good alternative to normal prayer training. Okay, let's go over some stats now. So it took me 18 hours to complete 100 tasks. Like mentioned in the video, you can squeeze it down to 15 hours if you're really good. And you also have a little bit of luck. In those 18 hours, I gained 1.2 million hunter experience, which equals to about 70k hunter experience an hour. Not very good all things considered, but I also think this can be raised to like 100k experience an hour if done right. And finally, I made 19 million GP on the dot from this. But keep in mind that this is week one of prices and they might adjust going up and down depending on player needs. And that was about 1.1 million GP per hour. So overall, I would say this update is a success if you want alternatives to draining your hunter. But don't expect anything revolutionary from here. If you want to see more Varlamor content, make sure to subscribe. But that's it from me. I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. I love you all very much. Bye. Mm -hmm.